What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a new day, another dress out video. I'm just wearing my burgundy, I think it's burgundy. It's like some sort of burgundy plaid um, flannel shirt. I'm gonna be wearing that. And of course I have the matching t-shirt to go underneath it. Black pants, black shoes, all right? And I see a lot of people wearing flannel shirts, um, plaid shirts or whatever you wanna call them. I see a lot of people wearing those, so I decided to wear some. The position that they have me in is uh, more of an administration role rather than security. And my field, my career field is security, but I do have a uh, business administration office assistant um, degree, all right? So we're gonna get into this video, let you guys see what I'm wearing. My shirt is over here and I'm gonna step back so you guys can see. I do have my AirPods in my pocket, so that's why it's kind of like poking out. Um, but here it is, guys, the black pants. You can't see my shoes, but I am rocking the Enigma Express light bearing holster. Uh, I have my EDC belt on, and this is pretty much what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see it, but again, I like my gun to ride high because I don't like when it drops down in my pants. This little part right here, um, I don't want my pants to get caught on it because it feels weird and it don't allow me to get a good purchase on the gun. I am a right, I am right-handed. Um, the reason I like it to ride high because my grip on the gun is better. So if it's down low, then my hand is kind of like trying to fiddle and get to it which could be dangerous in a self-defense situation because you can't draw your gun. So that's why I have mine's riding high and we're gonna put on my shirt so we can see what it looks like. And even without my shirt, guys, you can barely see it. Like you can't even see the print. You can see a little bit right here, but that's because my shirt is uh, pretty much fitted. Um, yeah, I like wearing these shirts because it's cold inside of my building, so I tend to double up or triple up. I have on this shirt, and I have on another one under that, this little tight uh, t-shirt right here. So, and right now, I am in California, so it's still kind of like in winter time a little bit. So it's really, really cold. To me, it is, it's really cold. To some people, it might not be cold and it might be just right, but for me, I'm cold, guys. So I have to have on, on triple and double shirts. That's my iron. All right. So this is what we're looking like gonna go ahead and button it up because I'm not gonna take this shirt back off all right and this is what we're looking like all right so see guys you see that see that's what I'm talking about right there that's one of the things why I grab from here lift up and present um, because my shirt with both of them on, it tends to hang up on my belt. So it's easier for me to grab here and lift up because I will grab both shirts or even grab here where my firearm is resting right here. All right, so this is my work attire for today. Uh, it is 6 47 I got a little bit of time I normally take my kids to school by 7 20 so I got a little bit of time so I'm gonna do a couple of dry fire reps and we're gonna get that practice out the way before I head out all right I'm gonna grab my t-trigger and I'll be right back all right guys welcome back here is the t-trigger all right again guys this trigger it's a good training tool however it is not compatible with the uh, mantis laser system and i want that compatibility so um it to work together like this trigger is designed to 
so you don't have to keep racking your slide when you uh, take shots because in a real life situation, a self-defense uh, situation, you're not gonna be racking your slide to take your next shot. So this is a good product. However, it's um, not worth what I paid for it. I paid $90 for this um, T-Trigger. Um, it is a good product, again, but it's not worth the $90, especially with it not being compatible with a laser system. So that's what I wanted. I wanted that compatibility, and this just simply doesn't have it. However, it does um, do its job. T-Trigger, the infamous Glock 23. My gun don't have too much of anything on it. And let me show you guys that it is clear. No round in the chamber, no mag in the firearm. So it is clear, all right? This is the T-Trigger. We're gonna insert it. And you heard that click, all right? And we're gonna holster it. So that's one thing I do like about this system, the T-Trigger, is because I am able to use my own firearm, especially with the Laser Academy, I'm able to use my own firearm and just put the laser insert inside of my barrel. That's one of the things I really, really like and because I'm training with my own firearm. Now, I do have a replica of my Glock 17 Gen 5. However, it is a airsoft gun and it's not, um, it's effective. It's a very effective training tool, but it does not, you could tell the weight difference slightly, not too much. And then like when you shooting, you could tell the recoil is different, but for me, it does its job, so it was worth the buy, all right? So we're gonna get a couple of reps in, guys. And I'm doing this because I wanna get uh, faster with my draw. So that's why I practice drawing from the holster. I also have a, um, there's a training on my Mantis that uh, do the drawing from the holster and you take it uh, a couple of shots. I think it's one shot. You can do one, two, or I believe three, but I'm not for sure guys, but yeah. Now I'm gonna enter in a couple of um, trigger pulls. The first one is gonna be my actual firearm and every uh, trigger pull after that is going to be the T-Trigger. Check you on the next one.